Sometime before Joe Biden came into office, I made the, some would say, audacious, ridiculous, illogical claim that by 2030, all energy in the United States would be renewable. And many have mocked me for that. Maybe rightly so, or maybe not. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. You're watching the YouTube channel that makes more videos about electric cars, batteries, and all that stuff than anyone else. Now, welcome to all you new subscribers. Great to have you on board. Welcome back to everyone else. Now, Michelle Lewis reports that new clean energy is reducing U.S. electricity generation from natural gas and coal. The electric says that the U.S. Energy Information Administration, try saying that fast 10 times, not easy, the EIA, has forecast in its January short-term energy outlook that rising electricity generation from clean energy such as solar and wind will reduce generation from fossil fuel power plants over the next two years, and significantly so over the next decade. Now, the EIA is forecasting the share of generation from U.S. clean energy, excluding hydropower, to grow from 13% in 2021 to 17% in 2023. That's a pretty conservative forecast. Now, I should add here that the EIA are well known for getting it wrong every year for a long time now. How do they get it wrong? Well, they consistently under-forecast clean energy disruption, electric car disruption. They consistently get it well wrong by being very conservative. Important to point that out. That's a true fact. Now, looking back, the EIA says the amount of solar power generating capacity operated by the US electric power sector at the end of 2021 is 20 times more than it was at the end of 2011. So in 10 years, it's increased by a factor of 20. And US wind power capacity is more than twice what it was 10 years ago. Now you can see that these enormous cost declines in solar have led to 20 times more generation over the space of only 10 years. That is quite incredible. Now, inversely, the EIA forecasts that the share of generation from natural gas will fall from 37% in 2021 to 34% in 2023. Now, there's not a lot that's actually all that natural about gas. I think calling it natural gas is a bit of a misnomer. But anyway, natural gas declined from 39% in 2020 to 37% in 2021. That's because the cost of natural gas delivered to US electric generators in 2021 averaged $4.88 per million British thermal units, more than double the average cost in 2020. So the cost of natural gas doubled in price in one year. Do you think that maybe the EIA are being a little bit conservative when they're saying that it's likely that the cost, that gas production will decrease by only 3% over the next two years? I mean, if we see these continued cost increases in the cost of natural gas, if it doubles in price again, that 3% will be more like 30 in terms of decline of its use. Now, natural gas is expected to decline, but operating costs of renewable generators will continue to be generally lower the natural gas fired units. In other words, renewable energy right now is usually cheaper than natural gas. Now, meanwhile, the share of generation from coal rose for the first time since 2014 to average 23% last year. But the coal share will decline from 23% to 21% by 2023, according to the EIA. And after that, continue to decline. The EIA says, we estimate that the electric power sector had 63 gigawatts of existing solar power generating capacity operating at the end of 2021. We forecast solar capacity will grow by about 21 gigawatt hours in 2022 and by 25 gigawatt hours in 2023. We expect that 7 gigawatt hours of wind generating capacity will be added in 2022 and another 4 in 2023. Operating wind capacity totaled 135 gigawatt hours at the end of 2021. Now, this is what The Electric had to say about that. This is not surprising news, but it's welcome news nonetheless. Will the renewable industry grow quickly enough to meet the Biden administration's target of 100% carbon pollution-free electricity by 2030? Time will tell. That's a big jump from 17% in just seven years. But the world can't afford for this target to be missed. 
Now, I should point out, 17% is not what you think it is. Think about this. How long ago was it when countries like Norway and Denmark only had 1% of all cars sold in their countries as electric vehicles? It wasn't that long. It was only about eight years ago. So in the space of eight years, Norway has gone from 1% to 93%. Very possible, considering the incredible cost declines of solar over the past 70 years. In fact, over the last decade, it's increased by 89% that that will continue. Now, to those of you who say, we can't, we can't because, we can't because this, we can't because of that. Let me tell you something about the word can't. Can't is the worst word that's written or spoken, doing more harm here than slander and lies. On it is many a strong spirit broken, and with it many a good purpose dies. It springs from the lips of the thoughtless each morning and robs us of courage we need throughout the day. It rings in our ears like a timely sent warning, and laughs when we falter and fall by the way. Can't is the father of feeble endeavor, the parent of terror and half-hearted work. It weakens the efforts of artisans clever and makes of the toiler an indolent shirk. It poisons the soul of the man with a vision. It stifles in infancy many a plan. It greets honest toiling with open derision and mocks at the hopes and the dreams of a man. Can't is a word that none should speak without blushing. To utter it should be a symbol of shame. Ambition and courage it daily is crushing. It blights a man's purpose and shortens his aim. Despise it with all of your hatred of error. Refuse it the lodgment it seeks in your brain. Arm against it as a creature of terror, and all that you dream of you someday shall gain. Can't is the word that is foe to ambition, an enemy ambushed to shatter your will. Its prey is forever the man with a mission, and bows but to courage and patience and skill. Hate it with hatred that's deep and undying. For once it is welcomed, it will break any man. Whatever the goal you are seeking, keep trying and answer this demon by saying, I can, I can, I can.